So one of the best things about iPhones is that we can change up a few things, including the keyboards. So I'll show you some of my favorite keyboards and then I'll end it off with my favorite one out of all of them. And the first one is Gboard. So Gboard is one of the keyboards. It's actually made by Google, which is pretty surprising. And I've had a good time with it. All of these are available on the App Store, so you can just type in Gboard and pretty much go from there. Now, there were some cool things going with Gboard back in the day, but now that Apple has improved their keyboard so much, a lot of these features are now brought over to the stock Apple keyboard, such as like emoji search. This is a kind of a cool thing, which we have Google search built into the keyboard. We have stickers, we have customizable themes, we have voice typing, and a lot of other things as well. So the way this specific keyboard looks like, so if I go and pop into here, if I go and hold it down, if I open up Gboard, you can see immediately it does look kind of different. So this is something that's pretty cool. Now you can get the dark themed keyboard without being on a dark theme on your iPhone, which is pretty awesome. It works just like a regular keyboard, so you can type in whatever you want to. The swipe typing is also very nice and it's fairly sleek. Uh, it's, you know, put two together. Now you still have dictation if you want to. You also have this Google button, which some people like, some people don't. If you click on it, you can actually see a few things that come up. You can also just search on Google straight from your keyboard, which is super nice. So it is almost like a split screen type of thing. You can also click on YouTube and you can also search on YouTube, which is pretty crazy. So you have a lot of different things here just immediately right there, which that in and of itself again is super cool. There's also tons of settings built into Gboard here too. So if you click on Gboard, you can change up a lot of things, which is pretty cool. So this is easily one of my favorite keyboards. Under themes, you can change up the way it looks. And honestly, it's a pretty nice thing that you know Google has done here. So it may not be the, like the best keyboard of all time, but it's a very, very good keyboard. Now, the other keyboard that I talk about a lot is actually SwiftKey. So this one was a pretty decent one that I used to use Microsoft SwiftKey, I guess is what they're calling it now. And it's kind of similar, but it actually allows you to customize it a lot more than I think Gboard does. So it says like it learns your writing style. It's fast and accurate, emoji predictions, multiple languages, type with a swipe. It's not really anything we haven't seen already before. So it's pretty much similar to what we already had before. But with the Microsoft Swift key, the cool thing about this keyboard is that, like I said, it allows you to customize things a lot more. So if I go and hold down here, and if I go to Swift key, you can see immediately it does look a lot more different than it should probably be. And this is a confusing keyboard too. So you have the swipe typing, so you can go and do whatever you want to. But also, it within its application, it is actually better looking, I would say, than the Gboard app. So you can customize it more. You can pretty much do whatever you want to here. Under themes, you can go and come into here and you can change the theme of your keyboard. So if you want like the white one, if you want like a different styled one, you can kind of go through here and it changes immediately. So this one probably looks a little bit better. I like it because it is very sleek. It looks very, very nice. And there's a lot more customizing you can do here. But is it perfect? Probably not. Which brings me to probably my favorite keyboard, which is the stock Apple keyboard. This is very funny because this is the keyboard I use on an everyday basis. I used to use Gboard every day, but then I think on iOS 12 or iOS 13, Apple added the swipe capability. And since then, I've been pretty much using uh, you know, the stock uh, Apple keyboard. I think this is one of the better ones you can use, and it really only makes sense to use this type of keyboard. So if you're somebody who likes Gboard and whatnot, then those ones are great. But still to this day, this stock keyboard is probably the one I'm going to use on an everyday basis. So. In terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.